Hey there, how are you? It looks like I'm kind of out of focus, or maybe it's just me. <laughs> it has been a long day over here. I've been in class all day, and um, we had a bit of homework, and the homework was to go live. So normally I'm not here on Saturdays, but since it's homework and... I feel like this can be of value to you. Here I am. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Robin Jonna Rosenhouse. I'm an energetic bushwhacker for businesses. I work with six, seven, and eight figure entrepreneurs and their teams to clear away the energetic chaos so that they can accelerate their business results and not only accelerate them, but have them come a heck of a lot easier than they ever thought possible. So we're going to be talking about how to get energetically aligned with prosperity. And I'll tell you what, there are a lot of business owners who make tons of money and they're not aligned with prosperity. Because prosperity is more about what's on the inside. It's not about necessarily making money. There are some really... Um, talented business owners and when i say talented i mean they're talented at making money but they're not necessarily talented at understanding that they get to keep their money that they don't have to be afraid that they're going to lose their money right so what we want to do is get you guys aligned with not only being able to make money but also being able to enjoy it, like without worrying about being able to keep it. Now, we're not talking about being stupid, right? And just, oh, I have money, money comes to me all the time, and I'm just going to spend it willy-nilly, and I'm never going to check my bills, and I'm not going to invest, and all that kind of stuff. We're not talking about that, and we're also, we're also working to get you out of that mindset of, feeling guilty and feeling worried when you spend money. So let's get started. The number one way of getting energy, energetically aligned with prosperity is to look around you. This is not something new. I've talked about this before, maybe even this week. Look around you and notice how much prosperity already exists in your world. You are watching me. Are you watching me on a smartphone? Costs money. Are you watching me on a computer? Computer costs money. Even if you don't own the computer, that is still representative of cash money, of a cash value. I don't care if it's worth $65, it's still money that's around you, right? When you look outside and you look at all the cars that are on your street, each and every one of those cars has value. That is prosperity. Now it's going to be varying amounts, but let me tell you something. If you have 10 cars on your block, that are valued at, let's say, $1,000 a piece, right? So they're more like a clunker type of a thing, right? Not even a clunker. They just, they have a lot of miles. They may be a little bit older. Maybe they're a little bit banged up, right? And so if you were to bring them in to trade them in or something like that, you'd get, a, you'd get a grand for them, right? If there were 10 of those on your block, that is $10,000 that is in your energy field. $10,000 that's in your energy field. So that means in that moment, you were aligned with at least $10,000. Now, if you take in all the houses around you, even if you live someplace that is um, more moderately priced, even if you have 10 houses worth 65K each. That's $650,000. 
plus the $10,000. That's $660,000 that in that moment you are aligned with. At least, because what else is around? What else is around? How much money do you have in your pocket? How much money is in the bank? What's in the houses? How much are the contents worth? You know, how much are the phones worth? Are you wearing jewelry? Like, you've got to keep this in mind. So, that's the first thing. The number one, if you do nothing else, I want you to every day notice that you are absolutely aligned with prosperity and go about your day and add up. Estimate, give, give estimated values to each and everything you come across. And at the end of the day, add up that, that number. You're aligned at least with that number. And I'm gonna give you, even before I get into the other ones, the other two tips, I wanna tell you this. Whatever amount of money that you have in debt, that counts as well because that means that you you have spent that money you were aligned with spending that amount of money you're aligned with things that were that much money even if it was to pay the rent even if it was to buy clothes even if it was to buy food so if you add up how much debt you have as well you will be surprised at how much you are aligned with at least that's the bottom number right? That's the bottom number. So there is prosperity around you all the time and you are energetically aligned with it. You're just not looking in the right direction. So this number two might help you. You do not make money. I don't make money. The only people who make money in the United States is the US government. The only people who make money in whatever country you're watching this in is that, that government. They make the money. You and I, as entrepreneurs or even as employees, get money. Money is delivered to us through other human beings, maybe via a job, maybe via um, a, as a gift, right? Or a loan. But the bottom line is it passes through human hands in one way, shape or form, even if it's digitally. So money does not come from people and you do not make money. People are the vehicle, are the vehicle, right? They're the delivery system for the money. They give you money, you get money. Okay? Even if you go to the store and you buy something, you're trading your cash for your computer. You're not making the computer. The dude in Best Buy is not making the computer. He's got a computer. He's trading you the computer for money. He's handing you the computer. He's giving you the computer. You are getting the computer. Okay? That's number two. You want to really, really keep that straight. The other thing, number three, this is also super, super important. You need to say yes. Now, you might be thinking that I'm nuts right now. You know, like, you, who says no to money? When, when the last time, the last time you went out with your friends for coffee and they offered to buy, did you let them buy? Did you, and, and if you let them buy, did you let them buy without going, oh, no, 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 it's okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. And they're like, no, 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 please, let me, let me, let me. Or did you say, you know what, that's really nice, thank you. Right? All too often, when people want to help us out, or they just want to be nice, 
and they want to give us something, we say no. Oh, wait, because we're worried about being, you know, indebted or beholden and all that kind of crap. And we start saying no to the money that we've been asking for, that the universe is using the people as a vehicle to deliver the money to you. And you're saying no. So, the other piece of that is, like, even compliments are a form of prosperity. You know? And so, I, I see my friend Mel is on right now, and if I, if, I, if I turned around to Mel and said, Oh, Mel, I love your profile picture today. Now, she can turn around and she can say, Oh, thank you. Or she can turn around and say, oh, I don't know, my hair, I'm not crazy about my hair. Blah, blah, blah. Or let's let's play it this way. Mel can say, because I'm looking at me and I feel like I look tired and everything, which I am. And Mel can say, Robin, you look a little tired. You know, you look good today, rather. You look really good on camera today. And, and I turned around and I'm looking at me and I'm going, I don't know, Mel, like my bangs are doing some weird thing. My cheeks are flushed. My body hurts. My makeup is worn off. I've been classing all day. Ah, da, 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 da. You know, you're welcome, Mel. <laughs> Mel's been learning from me for a while. Um, you know, I, and so I can turn around and I can do all that. So now what I just did was I took the prosperity that the universe is using Mel to deliver to me and I threw it back on, in its face. And in doing so, I also turned around and Mel made Mel wrong for her compliment. Right? Because I turned around and I said, no, you're wrong. I look like shit. I don't look good at all. You know, I, that's not nice. It's, you know, it's not nice. And it's just one of the ways that we turn prosperity down. And it's one of the ways that we turn money down. So if you turn down compliments, I will bet you 10 to one that there are areas in your life where you say no to money. Now, I, you know, let's, let's be realistic for a second because you know that I'm, a, I'm about being realistic. There are times when there are people who offer to help you out, who, who compliment you, who want to give you things because they want something back, right? Now you're using your awareness when you say thank you, no thank you, right? Now you are using your awareness, you honest to goodness know the way they are. This isn't about you feeling guilty and, oh, you know, if they give it to me, even though they're giving it to me freely, my mother always told me if somebody gives you a gift, you have to give them a gift, you know, that, that whole thing. And we're not talking about that. We're talking about people who really, really, really don't have great intentions. Then, then you're turning around and you're saying, you know what, universe? I, I see and I acknowledge that you're trying to deliver money to me, but you know what? I'm, I'm looking for this to show up, you know, in a way where I don't have to be beholden to the person or I want it to show up honestly with integrity, right? That's all. You just, you just want it to show up honestly and with integrity. That's fine. That's fine. You're just getting clear on, on what you're manifesting, okay? So let me just go over these three pieces again really, really quick, and then I will let you go. So the first way that you get energetically aligned with prosperity is number one, notice all the prosperity that is around you. Go back and listen to the beginning of this again, because that one tip alone is a life changer. Forget about a game changer. It's a life changer. The second is to remember that you do not make money. Only the governments make money. You get money. That's number two. And number three, say yes to money. As long as it's being offered to you uh, in a, you know, in a legal way, in a way with integrity and, you know, with a kind heart and that kind of a thing, right? So, and don't forget to say thank you when somebody compliments you instead of arguing. Just gets you uh, more in that space of being able to receive and get that money with ease, 
oh, with so much more ease, right? Okay, so that's what I have for you guys today. If you found this helpful, please share it out with your friends. Facebook is not really showing these, these videos. Um, Facebook, it's, it's down in general. Views are down. You're not seeing as much of the content as you want to see. So if you want to see more content from certain people, interact on their pages, interact on their videos, interact on their posts, share them out so that they can be seen by more of their friends. Tell your friends about it so they come on over and see them. And if you are having a problem getting aligned with prosperity, DM me and let's do a reading so that we can find out what energy you need to realign so that you can start having the money flowing in. Okay? All right. That's it. Remember, align your energy, accelerate your results. This is Robin John of Rosenhaus. I will be back here tomorrow. It's Saturday, so um, it's Saturday, so I will be back here tomorrow with your episode of business this week, probably later in the day. I think I'm in uh, class until five or six again tomorrow. All right, guys, have a great night. Bye.